All right, so I'm going to hit some fasted cardio and uh, maybe even a light workout. I normally don't do cardio before my training sessions, but right now um, I feel like going to the gym and I feel like doing cardio, so uh, we're gonna see. minutes finished up um, I'm not I'm not lifting today I'm gonna go home eat a little bit uh, get filled up and come back in around 12 something like that uh, I like working out midday so it should be easier uh, doing that. not necessarily I don't know what I'm saying I feel like sometimes when I talk to the camera I like I'm not actually saying what I mean like, I, don't, I don't think it'll be easier I think it'll be more conducive to my goals in my game. and I don't know why I'm even explaining this. Um, yeah, but... <clears throat> nice. Yo guys, so I forgot to give a shout out to my clothing sponsor, Rise. Um, they are a really cool company and really supportive and I've been going through some shit recently and I just can't be more thankful for how generous they've been. So it really doesn't have to do much with their clothing, but uh, I'm saying they're good people. They're worth, you know, giving your money to if you ever decide to get new gym clothes. Like it's a good company to spend on is what I'm saying. Um, it's not this overblown, you know, I don't give a fuck unless you re reach a certain minimum yada yada type companies that are out there, although they're like cliche and that, you know, whatever. I'm not going to slander anyone. All I'm saying is Rise is like a really awesome company um, and they've been really supportive of me over the past couple of months. Um, and on the note of that, they did recently drop a couple um, brand new stringers and um, uh, they have more oversized stuff and I probably shouldn't say too much, but they have a lot of like cool stuff coming. Um, not this launch, but the next one. But this past recent launch, um, <clears throat> They just put up a bunch of new stringers, like I said, and mostly and biggest of all, they have this massive summer sale going on, and that's why I want to like make a point of saying this is that this sale um, is has been going on for the past like two or three days, so I'm a little late informing you on YouTube, but they just extended it another 24 hours, so it's really a great opportunity to go pick up some clothing. Um, everything's like super super cheap right now, um, and. All this is going to be doing is reinvesting back into even better quality stuff that they're going to be coming from. So really keep an eye on Rise, guys. And of course, remember to use code Quinn if you do shop with them. I really appreciate it. Um, now we'll continue with the video. Hi, happy girl. do you so cute, cuckoo? Oh, hey. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> on the bed. I still had some cage-free eggs to show you, but pasture-raised is the way to go. Damn, can't crack this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. What the fuck? Can't go. There we go. Way more nutrients and there's just a ton more nutrients in the yolk, and it just tastes a lot better. Every time I go on like a cut or I'm in some sort of deficit, I just get addicted to pickles. Absolutely <laughs> depend on these things. Normally when it gets like this, I wonder if I can do the flip. I try to do the flip. Uh, and I make a mess, but I'm getting better at it. Let's see. Let's see if I can nail it. Adjust the camera angle a little bit. Alright. Alright. That could have been worse. I did break one of the yolks, though. But I'm kind of curious. I've been thinking of starting um, an OnlyPans. Or pretty much I just do shirtless cooking videos. I'm kind of curious, uh, you, I mean, I don't know why I'm asking you guys, but 
guys think it would do well? Because, like, I think it could work for a select target audience. Okay, that was a better flip. Oh, yeah. Get up with some English muffins. I usually just throw the egg on the English muffin with a little ketchup, and it's fucking bussin'. Sorry, that was so cringe. And uh, good. I've been getting tired of oats a little bit, so it's either English muffins or got this delicious cinnamon raisin bread. It's like a hundred. I think it's a hundred calories per slice. Which I will fucking take it. It's delicious. It, it, I don't know. In the morning, sweets is like a must. Put that on top, and you got a, a nice drippy egg sandwich. 100 grams of bloobs, egg sandwich, some ketchup. I feel like I'm missing something right now. Oh, yeah, protein. Kyle has me on oats, um, 25 grams carbs from an English muffin, but I'm not eating any oats, so he has me for. What is it, 80 grams of oats, so I'm just gonna substitute that 80 grams, which would be about 40 grams of carbs, with this bread, which is about 20 grams per slice. So I'm just gonna go with two slices and toast them, because who doesn't love toasted bread? Massive pickup of glu uh, glucose disposal agent. Take one of these before every um, big carb meal, ideally 30 minutes pre-meal, but I'm a, I'm a limit pusher, tester, breaker. So take one of these, you know, within 30 minutes of your first, uh, or not first, but any big carb meal. And it makes a huge difference in uh, nutrients, partitioning, and deliverance of the carbohydrates to your muscles. So pretty much just makes your food a little bit more useful to your body. Really good point to make while I was eating my breakfast, but... If you'll look at the two slices of bread, this is just under 80 grams of oats worth of calories and carbs. Um, but on that point, this doesn't seem like a lot of food. I mean, I you know, I ate this, but... But... <clears throat> Bro, are you okay? You're sniffing my shoe really intently. Yeah. You can look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. You just want to look at me? Look. As I was saying, um, before Coda just started harassing, molesting my shoe, um, this is just doesn't look like a lot of volume compared to oats. So the reason why, you know, I could probably get away with this now because I'm not in like any crazy deficit, but if I were to get really deep into a cut, it would really depend on like what I'm having trouble with. Am I having trouble with, you know, uh, satiation and just feeling fuller or am, or am I having trouble with cravings where I just want sweeter foods and that's pretty much what it comes down to right now I guess I would say I'm having more trouble with cravings than I would satiation like I don't mind feeling minorly hungry and as right now like that it could change you know, where I like I'm always feeling empty and I'm just craving to feel full and in that case I would probably have egg whites opposed to a protein shake and I would probably have oats opposed to bread just because egg whites and a protein shake is so, or sorry, egg whites and um, oats is just so much more voluminous individually, so much more voluminous than, you know, bread and a protein shake.